Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and today I have my predictions for episode 5 of 6 of The Falcon and the Wind Soldier. Oh yeah, we're getting close to the end. In fact, next week this will all be over, which is very depressing. But again, not as depressing as WandaVision. Anyways, um, I have a couple of predictions for this episode. One, the mid-season trailer has showed a scene between John and Sam and Bucky. John says... You don't want to do this. And Bucky says, yeah, we do. And I'm going to assume that is them two stealing back the shield from John because of what happened at the end of last episode. And I'm still not over that, by the way. Like, whoa, that was too dark. I mean, not for John Walker, but like MC. That's like a new level of dark for the MCU. My God. Uh, anyways. So I think we're going to see that in this episode. This episode, we're also getting that mystery cameo that we've been t that we were told about a couple of weeks ago. Some people have been saying it's a new character being introduced. If that's the case, I'm not sure who it is or who it could be. Again, with Madripoor being in the show, could be an X-Man or somebody linked to the X-Men. Possibly, I don't know. All I know is we're going to be getting that character this episode. And that's not, a, that's not a prediction, that's confirmed. So, we're getting that this episode. Do I think we'll see the Dora Milaje again? Um, I'm gonna say... Maybe. Like, I, from what I can tell, their arc's been wrapped up in the show. But they could try to come for Zemo again. So, it's possible we might see the Dora Milaje again. Maybe, maybe Io? We might even see Okoye. They might step it up a bit, you know. If you want stuff really to get done, bring a Koye in. She'll have it sorted in like minus 10 seconds. So the Dora Milaje possibly might show up again. Do I think we'll see the immediate aftermath of the end of the last episode? God, yes. That was, a, that was too big of a thing to be just brushed over. Oh, hell no. Like, you do not murder somebody with cap shield and have it not brought up again. Hell no. And I think that will eventually lead into the whole Sam, Bucky and Walker thing that I mentioned a few minutes ago. So I think this episode's going to be very, very action-packed. Like, woof. I, um, I am so ready for this one. It's going to be mental. Oh, and I think Zemo's arc might, Zemo's arc might start to get wrapped up again. Um, because, um... I have a strange feeling he's going back to prison by the end of this episode. Possibly the end of the show, which is only next episode, so, you know. Um, I think Sharon might show up again, be it in Madripoor, or she might end up in Latvia with the others, so that could happen. But I think the saddest things come from last week's episode was the guy who John Walker killed said he was a Captain America fan as a child. Now that was depressing. Like, I know he just lost Lamar, but, again, John should not have put the super soldier serum in himself. Like, he isn't a good dude. So, again, I'm bringing this one up again, because I love this quote. It makes good great, and bad worse. And look what it's done to John. The latter half of that statement. Um... But I think once this episode's over, we will see Sam get the shield back, possibly get his new Captain America suit, which, from what I've heard, looks really good. Like, really good. So, can't wait to see that. I I hope it's this episode. If not, I can wait till the next one. But this is probably going to be predictions for the final two episodes, but I'm going to make a proper final predictions episode next week so I know what will probably happen, because again, this week's a lot of stuff could happen, but some of it might happen this episode, some might happen next, so, mm. but yeah, I think there's going to be a lot happening this episode, so John, John Walker, Sam and Bucky all have a fight for Cap Shield, we see the immediate aftermath of last week's episode with the whole brutal murder in public scene, we're going to see... Uh, possibly the Dora Milaje again. Again, I don't know. 
that seemed to be pretty wrapped up last episode, but hey, they could bring him back one last time. To maybe even reference the new ruler of Wakanda. Because, of course, T'Challa's not around anymore. Um, but yeah, so I think a lot's going to happen this episode. It's going to be a good one. Hopefully next week's will be even better to finish off the show. Then we have a, a few weeks to wait until Loki starts, along with the Bad Batch. Which I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to handle that in a very weird way. It will work, but it's going to be different to how I'm handling it right now. So I will get predictions and overviews out for both shows, but I'm going to be switching up the schedule slightly to accommodate that. So just a little bit, bit of a heads up for you now before you get all confused when the time does come and I haven't explained it. Anyways, that's going to do it for this predictions video, guys. So as always, people, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to mine and Roxanne's YouTube channels. Her link is in the link tree in the description. My sub button is down there. Yep, that big red one. Unless you've already subscribed, then it's grey. Thanks for that, by the way. Um, don't forget to comment as well, because why not? And let me know what your predictions are for the next and penultimate episode of The Falcon and the Wind Soldier. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and Stereo and Roxanne on her blog. Those links are also in the link tree in the description. And lastly, of course, can't forget this part. Mm -mm. Don't forget to share this video with all of your friends so they can join the infinite loop of liking, subscribing, commenting, following, and sharing, and around and around and around that loop. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Goodbye.